was an act of terrorism. And they, to prove that, they had to show that these people had brought in liters of petrol, about 120 liters, they said, and poured it in S6 coach. In fact, I did, a, as, a, as a physicist, I did a little energy calculation. If 120 liter of petrol is converted into energy, it should blow up the whole tree. And here, the, you see what happens is, if you just look at these four pictures. These four people have actually come out. These four people have actually come out from the same S6 coach. Now, see the burn pattern. This lady has some burn on her face. This man has some burn on his head. This lady has some burn on her hands. And remember, they are wearing uh, a very, uh, I, I think, a cheap um, uh, nylon saris. Okay, now that would be the most inflammable uh, things. Now, if these people were in a coach where 120 liters of petrol was burned, how do they come out with such burn patterns? There's absolutely no burn up below the waist. So, I mean, it is ridiculous even to suggest that. Then, they, 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 another theory was that the uh, terrorists had uh, stopped the train from outside by pulling the, uh, rotating the disc. Then we went to the engineer, found out that they had completely changed the design and it was impossible to rotate the disc from outside. So we gave it to Nanavati also. We piled him up with every evidence to show it could not be an Islamic terrorist attack. Because we knew that if Nanavati comes to that conclusion, then the government line becomes very strong. But it didn't work. You see what, it, what they're doing there. Despite all evidence pointing to the terrorist theory, the commission concluded in line with the government's version in part one theory. The commission also absolved the chief minister of all the report. But the Central Review Committee appointed, uh, however, held that there was no element of pre-planned terrorism in burning of the S6 coach. This finding of the Review Committee was upheld by the Gujarat High Court after the Nanavati report was published, thus rendering the Nanavati's conclusion untenable. Justice Bhagwati Prasad delivered the judgment on Virat. Now I'll just read out this judgment. It's very important to note. We choose to go deeper into the purport of the testimonies and when we make reference to it and give, give a thought whether any act of terror as defined under section 3, 1 or 3 of the quota is made out, on reading the statements we find that none of such element is emerging out of reading of the statement. These statements are like statements of ordinary witness of criminal case where animus of terror not only not present but also we find it totally absent. So on Godra, this is a judgment of the Gujarat High Court, which goes exactly against the finding of Mr. Nanavati. So I think this was one of the very important uh, success we have had with the judiciary there. Then uh, uh, another most important uh, evidence that was produced was by Rahul Sharma. He gave us about 10 million phone calls of that period. Wow. The arrest of Maya Ben and VHP uh, leader, we got him arrested on the basis of these evidence. I'll show you that. You see, now we what we did, we could from those, uh, uh, well, I'm going to take three more minutes. Uh, what we did, we got the entire uh, telephone calls analyzed, actually uh, naturally today. And uh, we, this is on 28th, where this lady was. He was a man. Now her alibi was, now you see Naroda. This is where the, uh, this is where the violence had taken place. Okay, now she claimed that she never went there. And there it is a mobile, unless the mobile was all alone moving around. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it was in Naroda throughout the period of the violence. So uh, we gave it to the SIT. I wish the chairman was here today. Because after hedging around a lot, they arrested her. Uh, <coughs> this, is the, this is the arrest of uh, Maya Ben. Uh, then we, uh, we gave to the SIT a complete dossier. But till today, no action has been taken. Now, I, I'll uh, uh, give you some. The, the main executor was Jaydi Patel. Now, uh, whoever is interested, more details can come to us. I'll give you all the details. <coughs> Here it shows that with whom he has been speaking all this time. These are policemen, the CM office, the home minister, and these are all the accused in the criminal cases. So on and from 27 February to March 4th, 
This man is in constant touch with this whole group. These were the main conspirators and main organizers of the riot. I think in the in the history of all uh, trial cases till I I have come in, including Nuremberg trial, nobody has been able to pinpoint actual persons. This is the first time, thanks to Rahul Sharma's uh, that phone call. Today we can pinpoint actually who did what, and this is one of the examples. And uh, for the uh, for Mr. Arvind uh, Verma ji, I have got a, a policeman here. He is uh, in charge of the Naroda Patia Bulbag area, and this is his phone call. Now, this red spot you see is the Gulbag area, and the violence took place where Mr. Esan Jaffrey was killed. Now, exactly at that point of time, when the violence takes place, he takes away the entire task force which was supposed to guard that area and runs away to Rebri Bajar. You can see the Rebri Bajar in the road. This is where the violence takes place. Now, he had a huge task, task force. He could have saved Esan Jaffrey and the entire society. But he's a, he has a phone call I found out. It was from Jairi Patel. He gets the phone call, takes his entire task force, goes away to Rebi Bajar, and comes back to collect the dead body. Mm. Now, now, these are, I think this is what uh, uh, activism should be all about. We got all the evidences and presented it. And, uh, well, Mr. Nanavati uh, is still struggling how to come out. And, uh, the, the <laughs> That, uh, and after doing all this, we made that application to cross-examine Mr. Uh, Modi, which he has uh, recently, last, last matter I got, uh, argued was that matter. And on 17 June, I'll go back and uh, argue the matter, whether he should be finally called or not. I'll take up one or two minutes, I'm finishing. Okay, now, uh, apart from that, what we did was, uh, we also had a lot of mass uh, involved in it, in the struggle. So you can see from, this is the 2004, uh, we have the reconciliation process and the uh, movement against Porta. And one thing I would like to show you is the last, this picture here. It is a massive unity rally which we organized in 2007, after the fifth year of the carnage, there were more than 10,000 Hindus and Muslims on the streets of Ahmedabad, which people thought would, could never happen. Because this unity defeated one of the most important political objectives of Mr. Modi. He wanted to divide, we said, we unite. 